Oh my god, can it stop showing me the loot? Don't show me the loot! I don't care about the loot! No! Nice. The airdrop is coming! The AK-117 is definitely a fan favorite in the BR mode of Call of Duty Mobile. And today, I'll be giving my personal build for it, as well as some alternatives in case my personal build does not work for you. I'll be trying a new format today where I show the gameplay first, and then after that, I'll show my gunsmith build where I'll be briefing you on the attachments, giving you the pros and the cons for the builds. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Remember to stay until the end for the gunsmith build, and yeah, let's get on with the gameplay. And we're going there. Teammates drifted off. It's fine. Nice hot spot. Hey, hey, give me that. What's that? Oh, that's nice. Poor guy. Yeah, using use your adrenaline. Oh wait, we're gonna get the Corda instead. That has better hip fire. Hopefully we can find some stability mods for my AK-117. What's this? Oh, it's the stabilizer mods. Okay. Hopefully we can find some uh, armor plates. I don't. I wish it could also like jump better. We're gonna get this Echo instead, I think I'll prefer this if we want some close range. PK9, no, I, I don't want the PK9. I don't like it. Hey. Okay, this is my teammate up here, right? Nice. Teammate's doing well. Oh, what's, oh there's a guy here. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Hey, come here, baby. Poor guy. Where's the drop? Where's the drop? Oh, it's right here. Okay, pushing up here. This guy's. Oh! Yeah, give me that. Uh, I think I just roinked that kill. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Further collapse expected. Travel to indicate. Hey, buddy. Oh. Hey, buddy. Don't do that. Okay. God damn. What's he shooting me with? Oh, he's healing. Nice. First kill over the AK-17. Ow! Oi, what? Ah, oh, teammate, 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 kill him, kill him, kill him. Uh, they're not gonna revive me. Ow! God, they didn't revive me. Can, we can I still spawn in? Yeah, I'm down, but that out. Oh, we won. Let's keep it low and steady. Slow and steady. Okay. Get that. Get me 
What's shooting me? Who's shooting me? I don't know. I can't see him. No. Stop. Nice. I don't know why I have the um, muffled mods. I guess I picked it up. Okay, that guy. Oh, wait, this guy's healing. Don't heal. The airdrop is coming. Just in case he decided to damage me. He didn't, but I mean, it's fine. I guess I just wasted my um, thing, but it's fine. Right? Okay. Where are these guys? Teammate, give me the shit rap. Oi. Damn. Teammate, give me the shit rap. Okay, I'm not. Oh my god, you can't run for some reason. Damn. If, okay. Hopefully they'll get close. Wait, I don't want them to get close. They have. The freaking shotguns. Just gonna close the door so they need to open the doors if they want to get in. If my character wants to close the door but she doesn't want to. Okay, it's either they. Yeah. Further collapse expected. Travel the airdrop is coming! Yeah, kid? They're over there. Alright, what's our game plan, guys? I. Hmm. I can do. Oi! Where did he just zoom to? Yeah? Yeah? You wanna ninja me? The airdrop is coming! Yeah? Okay, I'm getting an anxiety because he has a shotgun. Reloading. Coming in clutch. Okay. Where's this last guy? Nice. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Something. Okay. I like that game. For my personal AK117 build, my thought process when making it was increasing range, uh, decreasing the lateral recoil, which is already really unpredictable, and still keeping some mobility with the AK117 because my personal thought for the AK-117 is that it's more of like a close to mid-range assault rifle. If I'm gonna be taking long-range fights, I'll be using something like the M4 or the LK-24, maybe even the AK-47 because you can still make that thing really accurate. So here's my thought process. OWC Marksman for the bullet spread accuracy, damage range, and lateral recoil stability. And then I decided to go for the optic because I don't really like the AK-117 iron sights, so I decided to go just for the classic red dot sight. You can use whatever you want to use. I then went with the OWC Laser Tactical because this will not only increase your ADS speed by 2 frames, it will also give you some bullets with accuracy, so that's really good. Next for the ammunition, I was thinking of running the 4 to 8 round extended mag but also reduces the ADS speed and it, it kind of nerfs the mobility of the gun way too much so I don't think it was really worth it so I stuck with the 40 round extended mag. Next for the stock, yeah I ran no stock because I like movement speed, it's gonna make up for the movement speed nerf that the marksman barrel and the extended mag give this gun. And I still like having a slightly mobile AK-117. Now, of course, the stock does have downsides. It will give you more vertical recoil. And also, 
ruin your flinch stability a little bit more so you'll flinch when you get shot so when using this class my personal class watch out for some stabilizer mods to help stabilize your gun so the pros and cons of this class will now flash on the screen right now feel free to pause the video and we're gonna move on to some alternatives in case you don't like this class for the alternatives that I'm about to give you you can basically just remove the no stock and replace it with something else that will increase the stability and slash or the ADS accuracy of the gun so that's why I went with this RTC steady stock you can just take this no stock off and put the RTC steady stock the, the pros and cons of this build will now show up on the screen and let's move on to another build you can try this build with the operator foregrip which will decrease your recoil making your vertical recoil even easier to control while making your ADS slower by like a frame or you can try the ranger foregrip which will give you more recoil control at the cost of slower ADS speed and even slower strafing speed while your gun is aiming down its sights or you can try the tactical foregrip B which will decrease your lateral recoil so your gun won't lean to the side as much while also giving you some ABS accuracy and lastly you can use the rubberized grip tape which will not affect your mobility at all but give you some good recoil control at the cost of some ADS accuracy so when using this build I recommend you go for some dense fire mods so that does it for my personal build as well as some alternatives to the AK117 build that I showed you. If you did enjoy the video, remember to leave a like, comment, and if you're new here, subscribe. That will be all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.